All right, we're back now. In the in the previous tutorial, um, I sort of introduced vector masking or masking with a vector object on top of a image, a bitmap, a photo of some sort, uh, and we're going to do another technique uh, again here, sort of like that. So I'm going to create a new document, and uh, just 500 by 500 is okay because we're just kind of practicing. Uh, I want to be zoomed in here to 100% so we can see everything. All right, so um, let me get a f image in here. So I'm just going to file import and choose one of these that I want to mask. Let's do this globe again. Okay, so I'm going to drag it out on the canvas here. Now, oh, I keep forgetting, sorry. That one is a thumbnail. So I'm going to have to choose a different one here. Okay, so let's say I've got a picture of the school here, and I want to mask this. And what I, the effect I want to have is that I want to create a fade. So I want uh, it to fade in one direction, and masking is a good way to accomplish this. Now, uh, Fireworks comes with with some fading tools, some pre-made ones, and it we're just going to do that by hand. But let me just show you those. Um, if I select the image come up here to commands and under creative and twist and fade oh no sorry that's not the right place um, let's not do that let's just do it ourselves okay so I've got uh, this image and what I'd like to do maybe I'm gonna do this as part of a banner so I'm gonna pick up my vector tool again I'll just use a rectangle this time and it's still got white fill in it. I'm going to drag a rectangle out on top of this image. Okay, go back and get my uh, pointer tool. Okay, so I've got this vector object on here, and if I were just to select both of these and go to modify mask and group as mask, then it would just be seeing the picture through this white area. The rest of the picture would be hidden. Um, and that's what we did before when we made rounded corners or we wanted to make an oval shaped picture. Um, this time now, I want this to fade. I just want to see the picture inside this rectangle, but I want the picture to fade. So say on the right-hand side, I want to be able to see the picture clearly, but on the left-hand side, I want it to uh, fade out. Okay, so to do that, I need to create a gradient inside this rectangle. So gradients are part of the fill, so I can go down here to Solid, open that up, and select Linear Gradient. Okay, now it puts a gradient on. Now this little gradient tool, um, I don't want it to be top to bottom. I want it to be left to right. So I'm going to, oops, undo that. So I am going to click and drag this handle uh, across here. Okay, to create, so that fade goes uh, right to left. And I have white on the right hand side and black on the left hand side. Now. Uh, when we're creating these kind of fades, it has to be white to black. If it's not, it, Fireworks will just select a value of that. So the area where it's white is where I want to see the picture clearly. The area where it's black is where the picture will be completely faded out or completely transparent. And in between here, it'll create a, a nice even fade. Okay, so I've got my rectangle set up. That's going to become the mask. I need to get both objects selected. So I've got the rectangle and the bitmap selected. And under the Modify menu, I'm going to go down to Modify Mask and then Group as Mask. Okay, and you can see if the picture now automatically fades out. You can still see the blue line. The whole picture is still there, but I'm only seeing the picture through the rectangle. And because that rectangle had a white to black gradient in it, um, that picture fades out on the one side. Now, if I want to adjust that gradient a bit, I can come over here to my layer panel and you can see there's still the two the two pieces. So if I select the, the image thumbnail over there, I can adjust the image underneath the rectangle here. Um, and if I want to adjust how the fading is working, I'm going to select the rectangle. And when I do that, uh, I get the, the uh, gradient toolbar that comes up. So I can grab and drag that. So if I drag it this direction, all the image to the right of that rectangle is not f faded out at all. So I'm just the fade is only happening between these two markers. Um, okay, so I might do that. 
Now the color that this is fading into, it's just in this case it's just fading into white, but the whole re reason for that is that the, my canvas color is white and the picture is actually getting transparent. So if I wanted this to fade into a different color, if I just click out here on the canvas, I can pick a canvas color, let's just pick a gray for a second, and you can see that picture actually fades into the gray. Um, and if I were to trim my canvas or fit the canvas, uh, I can sort of get a little different view here. Let's pick a different color. Maybe I want it to fade into uh, sort of one of these greens. Okay, so now I've created this little gradient. Let me adjust that a bit. And maybe I don't like the green. So I can just click on out here, go back to the canvas color, and that's the color that is fading through whatever color the canvas is. Because really what this mask is doing is just creating transparency in the image. Okay, so let's just, uh, I'm going to close out of that, and I'm going to just run through that process one more time here quick. Just as a quick review, let me just zoom out. Okay, so first I'm going to import a photo, or bitmap, and let's try this one. Okay, so drag that picture out. Now I just want part of this picture to be part of my banner maybe, and I want it to, f to, f to fade, so I'm going to dra draw a rectangle. In this case, it just sort of defaults to a white rectangle. So I'm going to draw a rectangle around, kind of generally around the area that I want to keep. And then uh, I'm going to put in the gradient that I want. And maybe this time I want it to uh, uh, fade in both directions. So let's see how we could, um, let me just, uh, I'll just do a, 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 a vertical fade here. So um, I want the top to fade out a little bit and the bottom to fade out a little bit. So if I go and edit this, the area where it's white is going to be the area where it um, is easily seen. And if I put one of these little blacks on either end, and I can click down here to put another little colored chip and switch it to black. Okay, and I might need to, whoops. I can drag this along. I'm going to put another one in and make it white so I can really separate out that middle section. So this whole middle section is really white here. I can adjust them just like that. Okay, so now I've created a little rectangle. It has a gradient in it. It's black at the top and at the bottom, and the middle is all white. So now when I select both objects and go to Modify, Mask, and Group as Mask, uh, let me just make the canvas a different color here for a second. Um, or actually I'll just, yeah, I'll make it a different color and then I'm going to just fit the canvas so you can s get an idea. Um, now my object is fading on the top and the bottom are faded out and I can adjust that if I want to um, just by using this adjuster. Okay, and you can see now as I move those in a little bit I have two fades happening and that's because of how I've set up these little chips. I've set up two white ones, which makes that whole middle section white. And then from here, the white went out to this black one. That's where the um, uh, gradient is happening, and there's a gradient happening over here too. But when it applies as a mask, that area out there is where the fade is and where it go turns into being completely transparent. So let's just change the canvas color here and say if we made it black. You can get a better idea there if it's black, where you can kind of see the fade now. So it gives me a lot of options uh, when I when I'm trying to create maybe a banner or something. I can easily take my image and create an interesting uh, faded out, fade out effect on it. Okay, in the next tutorial, we're going to just go through and make a kind of a sample banner.